Imagine a lone traveler billions of miles from home. It carries with it the sounds and images of our world, a golden record, a message in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. For decades this traveler has journeyed through the cold, dark expanse of space, passing giant planets and their moons. Now, it has done something truly remarkable. It has left our solar system and entered the space between the stars. This is the story of Voyager 2, and it just sent us a message from the void that's changing everything we thought we knew. The news from Voyager 2 is more than a scientific update. It's a profound reminder of our place in the cosmos. We live on a tiny, fragile world, orbiting an ordinary star, but our curiosity knows no bounds. We build machines to go where we cannot, sending them as our eyes and ears into the unknown. Voyager 2 is one of those emissaries. Its journey is our journey. What it has found in the interstellar medium is both terrifying and exhilarating. On August 14, 2025, a faint signal is captured by giant radio antennas on Earth. That signal has traveled for more than 22 hours at the speed of light to reach us. It comes from a machine launched before many of us were born, powered by the slow decay of plutonium, still faithfully reporting back. It's telling us about the environment just outside our cosmic neighborhood, a story of turbulence, strange magnetic fields and unexpected density. So why should this matter to you? Because exploration is fundamental to who we are. From the first humans who looked beyond the horizon to the astronomers who first pointed a telescope to the sky, we have always sought to explore. Voyager 2 represents the pinnacle of that spirit, humanity's farthest flung representative. The data it sends back isn't just for scientists, it's for all of us. It's a piece of the grand cosmic puzzle that we are all a part of. And the latest piece it has sent us is a big one. It challenges our models and ignites our imagination. Voyager 2's discoveries force us to confront the vastness of space and our own cosmic loneliness. The universe is calling, it's time to listen. Let's rewind to 1977. Amidst the turmoil of the times, a small group at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory prepared for an epic journey. They built two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, to take advantage of a rare planetary alignment. This alignment allowed them to use gravity assists, a cosmic game of pool, to explore the outer solar system. But the mission planners had a grander vision. These spacecraft might one day leave our solar system entirely. They would become silent ambassadors, drifting through the Milky Way for billions of years. Carl Sagan and his team created the Golden Record, a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc with sounds and images from Earth. Greetings in 55 languages, the sounds of whales, a baby crying, waves and music from Bach to Chuck Berry. The record's cover is etched with diagrams and a map showing our sun's location relative to pulsars, a universal guide for any intelligent species. Voyager 2 launched on August 20, 1977, a bit slower than its twin but destined to visit more planets. It was our first and so far only spacecraft to visit Uranus and Neptune giving us our first close-up views of these mysterious ice giants. It discovered new rings, moons, and magnetic fields, rewriting the textbooks on the outer planets, but its primary mission was just the beginning. The real adventure, the interstellar mission, was yet to come. The golden record is more than a mixtape for aliens, it's a testament to our hopes and our humanity. It says that even if we are alone, we reached out. Voyager 2 was destined for the stars. It carries our message of peace, science, and our desire to be known. And now, it's delivering on that promise. The genius of the Voyager mission was its timing. In the late 1970s, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune were lined up in a rare cosmic row. This allowed a single spacecraft to visit all four, an opportunity that comes once every 176 years. Voyager 2 began its tour at Jupiter in 1979, revealing the planet's stormy atmosphere, faint rings, and new moons. Using Jupiter's gravity, it slingshotted to Saturn giving us stunning views of its rings and studying Titan's thick atmosphere. Voyager 1 was flung out of the solar system's plane after Saturn but Voyager 2 continued to Uranus and Neptune. At Uranus it discovered the planet's extreme tilt, new moons and rings. At Neptune it found the great dark spot and more moons, after its flyby of Neptune's moon Triton, Voyager 2 was catapulted into the interstellar void. The grand tour was over, but the ultimate mission was just beginning. Voyager 2's journey through the outer planets changed our understanding of the solar system, but its greatest discoveries were still ahead. The real adventure was about to begin. After Neptune, Voyager 2 sailed through the Helio sheet. The outer layer of the sun's protective bubble, the heliosphere. The heliosphere shields us from harsh interstellar radiation, but where does it end? 
The edge is called the heliopause, where the solar wind yields to the interstellar medium. On November 5, 2018, Voyager 2 crossed this boundary, officially entering interstellar space. Its instruments detected a sudden change. Solar wind particles vanished, replaced by high-energy galactic cosmic rays. Unlike Voyager 1, Voyager 2's plasma instrument was still working, giving us the first direct measurements of plasma density and temperature outside the heliosphere. Voyager 2 is now over 12.7 billion miles from Earth. Its signal takes more than 22 hours to reach us. Its power is dwindling, and many instruments have been turned off to conserve energy. But the key instruments studying the interstellar medium are still on, sending back precious data. We are finally tasting the waters of the interstellar ocean. The journey to this boundary was long and arduous. Voyager 2's crossing marked a new chapter in our exploration of the cosmos. We are now receiving data from beyond the frontier. The universe is opening up. So, what did Voyager 2 find out there? The heliopause is surprisingly thin and smooth, a sharp, well-defined boundary. Voyager 2 crossed from the hot plasma of the solar bubble into much colder, denser interstellar plasma in less than a day. Plasma density increased steadily outside the heliosphere, suggesting a pileup, like a boat creating a wake. The interstellar magnetic field is stronger than expected, wrapping around our heliosphere and acting like a magnetic dam. This interaction is more complex and dynamic than we imagined. These findings reshape our understanding of how stars interact with their galactic environment. The heliosphere is our shield, and understanding its structure is crucial for life on Earth. Voyager 2's data is forcing us to rethink our models of astrospheres throughout the galaxy. For the first time we have ground truth measurements of this critical region. Voyager 2's data revealed something strange just beyond the heliopause. The plasma wasn't just denser, it was hotter, defying expectations. This suggests something is heating the interstellar plasma outside our solar system's bubble. One hypothesis. Voyager 2 detected a shockwave, perhaps from an ancient supernova, or from plasma flows colliding in the interstellar medium. The interstellar medium is not a calm sea, it's dynamic, turbulent, and shaped by cosmic events. These shockwaves could compress our heliosphere, letting more cosmic rays into the solar system. Voyager 2's instruments are giving us an unprecedented view of this environment. As Ed Stone said, we're seeing a much more dynamic and complicated environment than we had imagined. True exploration means discovering what we don't know. Voyager 2 is the ultimate explorer, revealing a universe more interesting than we ever dreamed. Every new data packet from Voyager 2 forces us to update our cosmic map. For decades, our understanding of the interstellar medium was based on indirect observations. Now, Voyager 2 gives us direct in-situ measurements, a game-changer for astrophysics. Our models of how stars interact with their surroundings must be revised. This could change our estimates of the size and shape of astrospheres around other stars, crucial for the search for habitable exoplanets. The Voyager program was driven by pure curiosity, but its technological innovations have had countless spin-offs. More importantly, missions like Voyager inspire the next generation of scientists and engineers. Voyager's journey expands our perspective, reminding us we are all crew members on Spaceship Earth. The golden record is a symbol of unity, representing all of humanity. As Voyager 2 ventures farther, it carries our message of hope and shared identity. Our place in the universe is forever changed. To grasp the significance of these findings, consider the perspective of Dr. Stamatios Krimigis, a Voyager mission veteran. He helped design the instruments making these key measurements, and has watched textbooks being rewritten in real time. The idea of a plasma pileup and magnetic wall at the edge of the heliosphere was not mainstream before Voyager. With both Voyager 1 and 2 in interstellar space, we now have a stereoscopic view, two points of data from different hemispheres. This is invaluable for building a true 3D model of our home in the galaxy. The race is on Voyager's power is fading but every packet of data is precious. Each signal is a final, faint whisper from humanity's greatest explorer. The story of Voyager 2 is far from over. Even after its instruments fall silent, it will drift through space for thousands of years. In 40,000 years it will pass near a star in Andromeda. In nearly 300,000 it will pass Sirius. It may outlast Earth itself, a silent monument to human curiosity. Voyager teaches us to think on long timescales and invest in goals beyond our lifetimes. The people who launched Voyager did it for the future, for us. This kind of thinking is essential for tackling the great challenges of our time. So what can you do? Look up, contemplate the vastness, 
stay curious, support science, encourage big questions. Voyager's journey is a shared human endeavor representing our intelligence, ambition, and hope. It confirms our fears. The universe is vast and sometimes hostile, but it also confirms our hopes. We have the power to explore and understand it. The universe is calling and thanks to Voyager 2 we are finally listening.